Yo, I got my mask on, but I can take it off outside. Actually, you don't really gotta wear masks anymore. I can't even lie. It's just habit nowadays. Um, I'd be chilling outside work, you already know. And I can't stop thinking about my fucking Marvel shows, man. Like, I just watched, uh, I just rewatched a couple episodes of What If before I went to work, and I was like, bro, this was such a good show. It was a cartoon, though, so, like, you know, it's hard to fuck up a cartoon. You can have a good fucking cartoon. But it got me thinking about Miss Marvel, and I keep seeing posts on, uh, on, you know, Marvel's Instagram and their Twitter and stuff saying, yeah, Miss Marvel is, like, the number one rated show on Rotten Tomatoes and shit. Everyone's loving Miss Marvel, and a lot of people are, like, L show, mid show, nobody likes that fucking shit. And, man, I gotta tell you, it's definitely one of the better Marvel shows I've seen. I'm loving the Khan family. I'm loving Mr. Khan. Amir is a lot of people's favorites, bro. I love Amir. He's so funny. He's like, I've only got, like, $72 in the bank. Dad, what the fuck? Uh, Mr. Khan is a, a, a literal hilarious character, and I really hope we do get to see more Mr. Khan, bro. But, uh... Yeah, I don't know, you know, I don't understand where like all the hate comes from. I think, I, you know what, it, I'm not, I'm not going to be the guy who says, oh, be open-minded, get op get open about other people's cultures. But, you know, I've been watching it and like seeing the culture, seeing the Pakistani culture. It's been crazy to see. It's been awesome to see how they all operate. I, I, I swear to God, every, every like five minutes you're hearing the word beta. They call each other beta or beta. I'm not sure how they... Like if it's pronounced like beta fish or like beta, beta, you know, they, they all call each other that. Like, it's so cool. All the aunties come together. They're all sitting on the couch and sitting in the living room and stuff. It's so cool to see the culture, the masjid. I like the guy who's like, please make sure you take your shoes off in the masjid. Take your fucking shoes off. You can see my shoes. So I'm just recording at work because I'm bored as fuck. And I have a minute to talk about it. But I, I, I don't, I don't know where I would put Miss Marvel. I can't lie. I don't know where I would put it on the timeline. Or not on the timeline of like, you know, like the tier list, I guess. Because my favorite show was Loki. My second favorite show was Moon Knight. Uh, and I would say Miss Marvel is probably third. I'm not gonna lie. Cause I'll t uh, you know, I'll tell you what. Miss Marvel has been doing a better job than Hawkeye did. I'm not gonna lie. I'm, I, I, looking back on Hawkeye, uh, they completely fucked that up. Echo was basically a non-character up until the very end where all of a sudden she kills Kingpin. Like, what the fuck? I don't get it. I don't get why she's... Well, we, we also don't know if he's dead, but basically Hawkeye was just a massive six-episode introduction to Kate Bishop. They were just trying to get Kate Bishop involved, and realistically, she's just a Spider-Man light, so I don't know what you want from me there. Uh... I thought she could have, I thought, I know Haley Steinfeld can do better than that. Like, I know, like, I know she's reading off a Marvel script and shit, but, like, Haley Steinfeld's a much better actor than Kate Bishop is. I'm sorry. I'm not a fan of Kate Bishop. I think you can do better. I think you can write her a little better, a little less doofy. Like, bro, stop being so doofy. I know for these doofy characters. Even Miss Marvel is a very doofy character. And under no circumstances is Kamala Khan, Iman Vellani, my favorite character from that series. Fuck no. But there's enough around it for me to get hyped up about. I like Bruno, her friend Bruno. The guy's a genius, and I genuinely think that he's going to have something to do with the story come down the line. You never know, maybe Armor Wars. I don't know where Armor Wars is going to take place, but he's a genius kid. He could be right there in the running for, like, like he, like he, I won't get into spoilers and stuff like that or what's going on in the show, but this kid knows his shit. And, uh, you know, maybe he could be in the running for some Iron Man tech or whatever the fuck, you know? Like, he... Bruno's a genuine genius. He's a genuine genius. Just staring at my chin in this video. Holy fuck. Um, yeah, uh, I like the, uh, I love the Khan family. I love, I, I really do love getting to know more about the Pakistani culture, the way they operate. I think it's fun. I think it's great. Like, it, it's a, it's a really, like, the way they're, like, the way they're talking in the show to each other, the way they associate, it's all so together and a big community and stuff. And from what I've heard online, apparently it's a decently accurate representation of how that fucking culture works. So it's like, all right, that's dope. Mr. Khan's dope. I love it. It's such a lively time. It literally is a lively time watching Miss Marvel. They got off to the worst start possible when they did that shit where it's like, oh, she punched Thanos. 
no offense to the other Avengers, I don't think they could do that, you know. She just, she didn't have, she wasn't on that farmer planet to watch Thor cut his fucking head off. But all right. Anyway, she wasn't there to see Iron Man stand up for Captain Marvel after she made the mis literally made the mistake of underestimating this fucking Thanos guy. Oh, you put you you headbutted me and it did nothing. Oh, I'm in charge now. Yeah, let me just take this power stone, literally the most powerful thing in the fucking world, and take it off my hand and punch you in the fucking nuts that you don't have, you know. So Captain Marvel, that, that first bit got off to a shit start. Kamala Khan needs to retire from YouTube, officially become Miss Marvel. It's time to hang up the boots, hang up the fucking editing software, to hang all that shit up, because that fucking shit was trash. Start writing comic books, you know? You can draw, Kamala Khan can draw, she cannot YouTube. She needs to be taught much more, much more shit. But then again, Ant-Man wasn't there for the cutting of Thanos' head either, so he wouldn't know. And that's where she gets all her information from. Which they say in like the literal like first minute in the sh uh, of the show. But yeah, aside from that blunder of that YouTube episode at the beginning, I thought it was a pretty good show. I still think it is a good show. We've still got three more episodes left to go, and I can't wait to figure out more. Like, you know, without saying any spoilers, we're getting deep into some stuff now. We're getting into the connectivity of stuff, and it's more connected with it's more connected to the show than Moon Knight. But Moon Knight was such a decent fucking show that I could not possibly rate Miss Marvel higher than Moon Knight. It ties in more than Moon Knight does, but Moon Knight does more, bro. Like, Moon Knight just does more. Anyways, I still think you guys should give a shot at Miss Marvel. At least once it's all out, you know? Just get it over, like, you know, you've got a Saturday free. Just binge the fuck out of it. Six episodes, 50-minute presentations, you know? Just fucking watch it. Get it out of the way, see what's going on. Uh, it's been better than Miss Marvel was, or Miss Marvel, uh, Captain Marvel was, that Captain Marvel movie that they made it seem like you needed to watch this before Endgame, and you didn't at all. Regardless, that movie was literally just to show you how the fuck Nick Fury, after he disappeared and dropped that bullshit on the floor, knew Miss Marvel, literally how he knew him, that's what that movie was, knew her. Uh, yeah, I don't know. I just needed to get some steam off my chest at work. I had a little break going on. I just wanted to talk about that. I would give Miss Marvel a shot when you have the chance. Once it's finished, for sure. You know, you don't have to wait weekly like I do. But once it's finished, I would definitely give that a watch. You know, maybe you're, uh, maybe you've got a weekend off. You're going to go see Thor on Sunday like I am. That's going to be a great movie. You've got Saturday off as well. Sit down and watch some Miss Marvel. You know, get in the Marvel flex. You know, just get in the Marvel mood. And uh, aside from that, that's been my little take on Miss Marvel at work. I'm in a Marvel phase right now. Shout out to Aaron Ramirez. He sent me my fucking Spider-Man Fortnite comic. I've been reading that. Uh, I've been reading my comics. I'm super hyped up for Thor. And you know, I'm in the Marvel phase right now, bro. I'm in the phase. So that's going to be it. I just thought I'd post that little video. Anyways, peace out. And have yourselves a damn good one.